Hey everyone, my name is Eric Hopkins, aka Joe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, Amazon Prime Video has apparently released the new teaser trailer for the upcoming season two of Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. Uh, so, I thought I'd take a quick look at that trailer and let you guys know what I think about it. So, let's check it out. An evil, ancient, and powerful has returned. Huh. Looks like the symbiote from Venom. Prepare yourselves. They worms his way inside your mind. The crest of him slithers in. I think he has been here. I think he's been here among us all along. Yep. Sounds like it. Every soul in Middle Earth is in peril. I gotta admit, it looks gorgeous. He's so cool. Oh boy, look out. Dark Lord coming. All right. All right, so we got an official release date, and uh, yeah, so I'm not going to lie to you. I've not seen all of season one of The Rings of Power. However, doing a little bit of research for this video, I wasn't even fully aware that this is technically not considered canon to the Peter Jackson, Hobbit, and Lord of the Rings trilogy of films, uh, the sixth uh, film saga over there. And of course, now they just announced that they'll be doing another uh, film in the Lord of the Rings uh, series called The Hunt for Gollum, which I did a video about that on my channel, so go check that out as well. Uh, but yeah, apparently, according to the deal that uh, Amazon struck uh, with the uh, with the estate of J.R.R. Tolkien, uh, I guess uh, the, the whole deal was the fact that they could do the show uh, set thousands of years before uh, the Peter Jackson uh, series of, of movies that they've done. But it's not considered part of a continuation of the Peter Jackson films. So I thought that was interesting. And I didn't quite realize that. But at the same time, you can still watch it and still kind of like view it as like, you know, a prequel to all that stuff that takes place in the films. So in that regard, I, I think it's still a lot of fun to check out. So uh don't, don't let that bother any of you fans out there because, I mean, it's, you know, headcanon is always a great thing to be involved with as well. I mean, I'm a Star Wars fan. There's a lot of things that's not considered Star Wars canon that a lot of people love still. So in that regard, it's not a big deal. But, yeah, and this is the new uh, character poster for Sauron uh, that they released along with the uh, teaser trailer as well. So, like I said, I have not seen all of season one. I need to get caught up on it. Uh, I've heard it was actually decent. I, I heard some fans weren't thrilled with it, uh, but, I, but I've got uh, some family who actually did enjoy it. So I'm looking forward to kind of checking it out and getting a little bit caught up on it as well and like i said even if it isn't canon it's still kind of a, a nice way to kind of see how things may have transpired before uh, the films that come out and stuff like that so uh, i'm intrigued to watch it and like i said it looks absolutely gorgeous the, the money that amazon has spent on this series uh, i can't remember the exact amount but it was like an ungodly amount like even like avengers endgame level money uh, that they were spending uh, and not only how much they were spending per episode so it should look absolutely stunning uh, as it does so I, I don't know exactly how people feel about the story of uh, this uh, series here as well but apparently it's done well for Amazon Prime Video uh, at least the first season did so I guess we'll kind of find out how fans reacted to it when we start to kind of get the numbers and the reaction for season two because if people didn't like season one they're probably not going to come back for season two so we'll just have to wait and see but I like the fact that they're kind of doing this thing with Sauron here I guess he's kind of using a human form to kind of deceive uh, people around him and things like that so uh, i like the premise of it for sure but i don't know how uh die hard lord of the rings uh lore fans of uh, jrr tolkien's work uh, how they'll feel about it personally but uh i think for someone like me especially who doesn't know a whole lot about the lore outside of what is in the films it's actually entertaining uh, to kind of go back and explore some of the stuff that could have potentially led up to the stuff that happened in the films that we saw that was only alluded to uh, so in that regard i'm looking forward to it but the real question here is guys 
What do you guys think about the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power getting a season two over on Amazon Prime video? Comment below. Let me know what you thought of the series of season one and what you think of this new uh, season coming up. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until my next video, guys, take care and God bless.